Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you part 3 of how to make a hand painted graphic t-shirt. So as you can see, after I did the background, the letters were a little misshapen. So I'm just going to clean up those letters with an oil pastel. So I'm using a gray oil pastel to reshape the letters. And I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I have a lot of footage to show. But I'm just going to show you enough so that you have an idea of how to do it. So now that my letters are all reshaped, it's time for me to start painting. But before I get started, I just want to show you all the colors necessary to finish this painting. First is Winter Violet, and I don't have a top to this one, so I'm not going to use it today, but it is important. Next is Ultramarine, which you saw me use last time. Then I have Cerulean Blue, which you also saw me use last time. Next is Permanent Deep Green, Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue, and I also have a larger bottle of Cadmium Yellow. Next I have Crimson. And I also have Cadmium Red Deep Hue, and this one is a different color than the other one because it's more pink. Burnt Umber. Mars Black. Titanium White. Blockout White, which I used last time. Mars Black. Fluorescent Violet. Fluorescent Magenta. Fluorescent True Red. Now quickly, I'm just going to explain the difference between the larger ones and the smaller ones is that the smaller ones are more pigmented than the larger ones. Also, before I get started, I'm just going to take another look at my picture to make sure I mix all the colors correctly. So, for the first half of this painting, these are all the colors that I'm going to use. And this here is the brush that I'm going to use today. And I'm going to use this for the entire painting. So now it's time to paint and I have a lot of footage to show you guys so this is going to go pretty fast and I'm actually not going to talk for a while so look closely.
know I said I wasn't going to talk for a while, but just this little part right here, I just want to explain. I'm going to use the paint to reshape the letters a little bit because I wasn't satisfied with the shape. So before I get started on the lower half, I'm just going to go over Mario just a little bit with an oil pastel so that his outline is a little bit more prominent. And now he's all ready to go. set of colors and I'm going to move on to the neutral colors. So here I'm going to show you how to mix a flesh tone. I'm going to start with burnt umber which I just used. I'm going to mix block out white, cadmium yellow, and fluorescent violet since I don't have my um, winter violet. And I'm just going to mix those together and I'm going to spread it on his face. So now he finally has skin. Next, I'm just going to finish up everything else that's black and white. So now 
now this part is all done. And so finally, now that I finished painting him, I just have to do his outline. And for this part, certain parts I just didn't record because I had to get really, really close. Also, this part is gonna go even faster than before, so try to keep up. he's all complete i hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe as well as following me on instagram at michelle pinky stay tuned for part four